market is? Well, yeah. So when we've looked at the market, I mean, we look at it in multiple dimensions, clearly. Um, as you mentioned, New York, California, uh, as such, you see a lot of EV adoption. But we're also starting to look forward to where you're seeing EV adoption start to grow. And also where um, states, counties, and governments, local governments, or you know, the federal government is stepping in to actually provide electrification and capabilities for future demand. So if you look, it's pretty amazing what you see. You see a lot of incentives, for instance, coming out in places like uh, Texas, Indiana, Illinois, <laughs> Missouri, Kentucky, places where maybe traditionally you wouldn't thought there was huge EV growth relative to the rest of the market. So what we try to do is not only obviously focus on where there's an immediate opportunity, which obviously would be California, New York, some places like that, but also where we see the growth is coming. Um, and I think what they're doing is basically building, saying, how do I build out electrification network that's going to be able to support EV growth as it tends to evolve over the next five to 10, 15 years. And then part of that, what happens when you do that build out? What's the impact to the, to the electrical grid? How do you actually manage those services, things of that nature? That's the way we've looked at it and why we've probably taken a, a unique view at, at how you do EV charging, especially DC uh, fast charging. Yeah, so one of the things we've been talking to retailers about 